it's Broly and your man's over there. Uh, I am Bob, yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. And Absolutely. Unfortunately for me, I'm still here. Mr. Perfect. Uh, it's nice being here with Tommy, though. No? Okay. So yeah. much, Thank you, Richard. Yes. yes. It's lovely being here with both of you. Let's be in a mutual oh, admiration oh, society. Don't you study. He's a new you. Oh, oh, look. The computers are sorted yes, out now. You've we, just we, done we, that, have you? Yeah. yeah. Rally and friends are back. So well, yeah. Yeah, we're Goodness back now, you know, yeah. <laughs> bet, it was, bet it was Paul cutting a wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you've taken his seat. I've taken no. his seat, yeah. No, we got his it. position. But Tommy, you've never done a TV show like this in your life and you're, you're wondering <laughs> why the heck have you come over here for this? But, um, and am I ever going to do another one? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Of course I am, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm, I'm very fortunate because of the radio association, the BBC mm. and that, and my band, I, I mean, we did all the Irish gigs. So, but you, you kind of stayed clear of that sort of stuff. It's not that I stayed clear of it. Um, somebody once said to me, a reporter once said to me, we can't pigeonhole you. And I thought, that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm not one for labels. I, I just don't, you know, like, I, I may be the I am the front man on the back in on the road, but yeah. I just happen to be the lead singer of a bloody brilliant band. Yeah. So we're all in it together. So it's not just me. You know what I mean? I can't do without what I do without what goes on around me. And when I, I, I it wasn't a real deliberate move with me when I was starting out. I I knew the songs I loved and how I wanted to do them. And as you've got to know me over the years. Yeah, there's no moving me sometimes. Yeah. It's like I've got a vision and it's not going to I'm not going to change course. It has stood to me many times, but it has also been a detriment to me at times. And that's life. Um, but when it came to my career, and I use that word very lightly, um, the songs spoke to me. And that's how, you know, I could have I could have easily gone down the popular route of whatever the, the fad was that time. I never did. And I still held steadfast in what I did and I still have it and there's a lot of acts coming up now the Irish thing has become really popular oh god yeah it's gone and I still won't I won't still change. won't I do it my way and that's yeah because you, mm -hmm. your voice is unique it is I suppose yeah thank yeah. you and I, I joke I'm a typical Irish man I find it very hard to take pats on the back all of us are the same um, you know there's great <laughs> But there's, um, I, you know, I just, I know that I, I work with great producers. I work with great musicians. I have an amazing manager who is also my wife, Tina. Um, and we kill Hello, it. Tina, by the way. We've <laughs> chatted, but we need to catch up again. It's, the last time was in the, in, in the in scrum, scrum, yeah. yeah. And, like, as somebody said one day, when Tina and Tommy lock horns, it's hilarious, because everyone leaves the room. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a bit like this program. It's a bit like this program, yeah. But um, this 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 program is a bit like the Russian Parliament. <laughs> Richard, you don't know what's going to happen. Is, 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 he, is he insulting us? No, I'm not. <laughs> it's just that you don't know what's going to happen. No. Oh, um, I see. Okay. Well, the next song, one of the most successful songs of all time, and yet there's controversy attached to it because somebody else was supposed to have written it and all different things. But isn't every song? A mishmash of something else all the time, but um, <clears throat> hard to come up with something new nowadays yeah, as well. Yeah. And when the funny thing about this song was written by Brendan Graham, a good, very good friend of mine, and the song was put on on my desk, not literally because I don't have a desk, <laughs> but I just yeah, paraphrasing here. <laughs> I the song was put in front of me, and I said no. In two thousand, in nineteen ninety nine. Oh my God! I know. Don't talk to me. My one of my biggest regrets, and I don't. You know me, Bob. I don't have regrets. Um, and then a singer, an unknown singer from Los Angeles, by the name of Josh Groban, <laughs> released the song without the second verse. I might add, <laughs> um, and he sold twenty-eight million albums. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I kicked myself in the arse for that a few times. <laughs> you know, but anyway, yeah. So written by Brendan Graham. This is you raise me up.
when I am down and all my soul so weary when troubles come and my heart burn be and I am still waiting inside with me You raise me up so I can stand on mountains You raise me up to walk on stormy seas And I'm strong when I am on your shoulders Yeah.